the methane and other gases slider. Over here on the far right side of the inroads control panel, you can adjust a whole group of different kinds of actions that will reduce our non-CO2 greenhouse gas emissions. So this includes things like methane emissions, nitrous oxide emissions, and the F gases. And one way you can look at this before you move this slider, I'll oftentimes switch, make sure the right graph here is switched over to our greenhouse gas net emissions by gas graph. And you can see here on the top three uh, colors here of the stacked graph, we have our nitrous oxide, our methane in blue, and in gold, those F gases. And so as we move this slider, what we're doing is we're saying, what is the maximum amount that we could reduce these emissions? And you can see we can really spring that down. And it makes a pretty big difference when it comes to climate change because these are powerful greenhouse gases. In addition to carbon dioxide, which you know most of the other control panels and sliders on, on the control panel here cover, um, the, these methane and other, other gases are an important thing for, for us to address. And what are the sources of these, these emissions? Well, for methane emissions, uh, what we oftentimes think about and uh, hear a lot about is cows. Uh, methane emissions is a, there is a big contributor from our entire agricultural sector, but cows in particular through the inter enteric fermentation or cow burps, if you will, um, release a lot of methane. Also rice patties and anywhere where you're getting lots of decomposition of organic material happening, you're getting those methane emissions. So this also shows up in food waste. Landfills are a big source of methane emissions in many, many areas. Um, methane also is um, mostly what natural gas is composed of. So anytime in the natural gas production process that it gets leaked into the air, that's methane getting, getting emitted and driving greenhouse gases further upwards. Now, nitrous oxide, another, another one of these greenhouse gases included in this slider, uh, the main source of it is coming from our industrial fertilizers. So the big use of fertilizers through, throughout our agricultural system uh, releases those nitrous oxide emissions. And then finally, the F gases. These are our fluorinated gases. Perhaps the most well-known uh, one of the F, F gases is hi our hydrofluorocarbons or HFCs. Uh, these show up in some air conditioners, uh, refrigeration systems, that kind of thing, more in the industrial and consumer goods side uh, then it's, it's not really a part of uh, agriculture because those are human made molecules, uh, but also very devastating when it comes to uh, drivers of climate change. And so if you go under the advanced view here for the methane and other gases slider, you can, you can adjust it all of these gases together. But as I just named, there's a lot of different actions there. So you may say, oh, I wanna, I wanna adjust the things a little more finer tuned. And here you can use the use detailed settings. You can see here that we have sliders available for you to adjust just the uh, methane and nitrous oxide emissions coming from our agricultural and waste emissions. Um, and also a way to address our energy and industry emissions coming from methane, nitrous oxide and F gases. Further down here, we also have other greenhouse gases start year and a uh, slider here for testing the phase out of hydrofluorocarbons. Um, there's a lot of discussion around this with the Montreal Pr Protocols Kigali Amendment. I hope that helps you answer some of these questions that are tied up in the methane and other uh, slider, methane and other gases slider. Uh, take care and uh, thanks.